Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to discuss uh, first law of thermodynamics applied to uh, flow process uh, in case of a steam turbine uh, pump uh, and heat exchanger. Uh, turbine is a device uh, uh, which produces a positive power output uh, at the expense of uh, its enthalpy. Here let us consider a steam turbine uh, which is insulated. Uh, here uh, there is a m kg per second of steam flowing uh, into the uh, turbine uh, which has uh, high pressure and which is uh, leaving at exit uh, uh, that is at uh, low pressure which produces uh, a WT amount of work. Uh, now let us uh, write down general steady flow energy equation uh, that is uh, uh, SF uh, E is uh, H1 plus V1 square by 2 plus uh, GZ1 plus DQ divided by DM is equal to H2 plus uh, V2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus uh, DWX divided by DM. Uh, neglecting uh, kinetic energy and uh, potential energy as they are very less and uh, this turbine uh, is uh, insulated there is no heat transfer uh, across the system boundary then the equation reduces to h1 equal to h2 plus uh, dwx divided by dm so here uh, h1 is enthalpy of the steam at uh, inlet and then h2 is enthalpy of uh, steam at exit so this equation can be written as uh, dwx uh, divided by dm equal to h1 minus uh, h2 then this can be written as uh, here wx is uh, shaft work uh, here in this case it is turbine work so it is uh, wt equal to m into h1 minus uh, h2 so that uh, uh, change in enthalpy is uh, h1 minus h2 that is uh, uh, the turbine work that is uh, produced uh, uh, is equal to uh, that is enthalpy change that is uh, uh, h1 minus h2 so this is uh, the result of uh, first law of thermodynamics applied to a flow process in case of uh, turbine now let us discuss uh, first law of thermodynamics applied to a pump uh, pump handles uh, a fluid uh, which is uh, incompressible uh, whereas uh, compressor handles a fluid which is uh, compressible uh, here uh, uh, this pump uh, is a power consuming device uh, uh, which receives uh, uh, a fluid uh, that is uh, incompressible fluid uh, with a mass flow rate of mkg per second and consumes uh, w uh, p amount of uh, work and then uh, that will uh, uh, exit uh, mkg per second of uh, compressed uh, fluid uh, outside uh, then uh, uh, let us apply a steady flow energy equation to this uh, pump uh, then the sf ee will be h1 plus uh, v1 square by 2 plus uh, gz1 plus uh, dq divided by dm equal to h2 plus uh, v2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus dwx divided by 
BM. So this is the general uh, steady flow energy equation. Here, uh, in this case, uh, uh, kinetic energy and potential energies uh, are uh, neglected as they have uh, very less. And then, uh, uh, since this uh, uh, device that pump is insulated, uh, let us make uh, this term also zero. Here, uh, one very important thing that is to be observed is here uh, power is consumed that is uh, work is uh, supplied to the system so the term uh, dwx divided by dm becomes uh, negative that is uh, very important plus of minus dwx divided by dm so this equation becomes uh, h1 equal to h2 minus uh, dw x divided by dm uh, the negative symbol indicates uh, here work is supplied to the system so the equation becomes uh, uh, like this uh, dw x divided by dm equal to uh, dw x is brought to left hand side then if this h1 is brought to right hand side h1 becomes uh, negative minus dwx divided by dm becomes positive so it is uh, h2 minus uh, h1 so here wx is a uh, uh, pump work that is wp it is uh, used in this uh, figure so that is wp equal to m into h2 uh, minus uh, h1 so here uh, enthalpy is uh, increased from h1 to uh, h2 uh, that uh, increased uh, enthalpy is equal to that pump work that is supplied to the fluid uh, so uh, this is uh, the first law of thermodynamics uh, applied to a flow process in case of a pump after that uh, uh, let us uh, consider uh, heat exchanger heat exchanger is a device uh, in which uh, heat transfer takes place from a, a fluid at higher temperature to a fluid at lower temperature in this case uh, heat exchanger in this particular heat exchanger here uh, heat exchange takes place from steam to the uh, water uh, that is flowing uh, inside the uh, tubes whereas steam is flowing uh, over the uh, tubes uh, that steam is uh, condensed uh, when it is uh, flowed from section 22 to 44 but whereas uh, the cold water uh, that flows from 11 to 33 here uh, enthalpy of the steam is decreased from h2 to h4 uh, whereas uh, uh, the enthalpy of the cold water uh, is increased from h1 to h3 then uh, applying uh, energy balance uh, to this heat exchanger uh, this becomes uh, uh, wc here uh, wc is the mass flow rate of uh, uh, cold fluid that is uh, water uh, wc into h1 is the enthalpy at inlet uh, plus uh, uh, once again inlet uh, at the inlet uh, uh, that is steam inlet that is uh, ws into uh, h2 h2 is the enthalpy of the steam at uh, inlet that is flowing uh, over the uh, tubes that carrying the cold water that is equal to uh, once again wc is the uh, mass flow rate of uh, cold water uh, that is uh, uh, and, uh, going out of the heat exchanger wc into h3 is the enthalpy at uh, exit here in this place plus uh, ws into uh, h4 ws into h4 is the enthalpy at the exit at section 44 after uh, rearranging this equation uh, we can write uh, here uh, ws is the mass flow rate of uh, steam it is ws into h2 
H2 is higher than uh, uh, this H4. So let us take this WS into H4 to left hand side uh, then becomes uh, WS into of H2 minus uh, H4 that is equal to here is enthalpy is increased from H1 to H3 in case of uh, cold fluid that is uh, cold water uh, that is uh, this becomes uh, WC into H3 uh, minus uh, H1. So this is the application of first law of thermodynamics uh, applied to a flow process uh, in case of uh, heat exchanger here uh, uh, heat transfer takes place uh, from uh, steam to uh, water uh, here steam is condensed uh, 